Okay, this is definitely not ideal, but what I'm gonna do, because in class today, in AP Computer Science Principles, we're gonna be taking a computer apart, taking it apart, identifying the pieces, and I'll be walking around asking them what certain pieces are. You have, I sent components to you, and I will send, a, there's a PowerPoint about the components in a computer. You're gonna to have to know these components because our first test will involve you being able to identify them. This is an old tower, an old computer, like many of the others in my classroom. And there's some, you know, it's got a, you can tell here, I guess, that there's a CD uh, ROM drive in it, or a DVD ROM drive in it. Uh, and there's no floppy or anything, but it's just one of the many that I have in my room. And if you look at the back of it, on the back we can see the connectors. There's a cabinet fan or a tower fan here. This is where the power supply, uh, in the where you plug in, put the plug so that you can plug it into the wall. Down here you can look at all the different connectors that we have. These are PC, uh, PS2 connectors here. That's a VGA connector there. Then we have several, it looks like USB connectors here. These are RCA cables for the soundboard that's inside. This is for the ethernet uh, connection. These are for USB uh, as well. This is an old enough computer. There is no HDMI connector or anything on it, uh, but some will have HDMI connectors for video instead of the VGA. This is just a serial connector. This was pretty much they used those for printers years ago. Now we pretty much uh, we use USB universal serial bus instead. So I'm just going to open it up and point out some of the parts that are in here. I don't believe I need the screwdriver for opening this one. This one has a little clip. You pull it and then you can take the cabinet open and we'll look inside and identify some of the parts that you're going to have to be familiar with that I'll be talking with the students in class about. First of all, you can see this fan here. This is part of what sits on the CPU, the central processing unit. That's part of what we call the heat sink. It keeps the processor cool, keeps it from overheating. Uh, it takes screws to take this out, and I'm not going to make a video and take this out, but we could take these screws out remove the heat sink and the CPU sits underneath that. And there's a copy or a picture of a CPU on the uh, PowerPoint that I sent. Uh, we can tell by looking at this that we have some PCI slots, PCI slots, those are for PCI cards, uh, things like a modem, a network card, maybe a separate sound card, some of those things. We also have RAM. These are RAM chips here. It's real simple to take them out. You just kind of push these little white prongs. You can push them at the same time, it works better, but me holding the camera, I can't do that. But push them, and then this is the RAM, RAM chips that come out, and uh, this is to add more RAM to your computer. You can upgrade by adding RAM. Real simple to put them back in. You have to line them up. There's a little slot, but I'm putting it back in the same way I took it out. And you just push down, and those little white tabs on either side pull up to hold it in. But that's the RAM chips. Okay, you can see some other things. We have ribbons in here that connect to a uh, different thing. Here's the hard drive. This is the hard drive. This is called a SATA hard drive because it has a real small uh, connector. One with a longer ribbon is called a PATA because it has parallel, kind of like uh, with this ribbon you can see. You can connect one to that. See those that connector with those little parallel pins? That's for a PATA hard drive. That's a different type of hard drive. This is called a SATA. It's a different type of clip. This is the power. This is the power supply. This is where, like I said on the back, we have the fan. This is where it plugged in. You put a cord in here and then it plugs into the wall. So that's the power supply. It's, it powers the motherboard, the big portion in here, which is called the motherboard. It powers it, uh, powers all these other fans, the cabinet fan, the heat sink, and everything else that gives it power. See, this is where the power cable comes out. and it, Here it's going to that. That's the back side of the CD-ROM drive or the DVD that was on the front, the DVD-ROM drive on the front. Of course, the, the hard drive also has a power cable. See, that goes all the way around and goes back into that too. All these connectors are for powering different things. They're not just, um, they supply more than you need when you're building a computer. That way, if all these bays in here, that's what they call those, are for different things. You could put a three and a half inch floppy, another CD-ROM drive, another hard drive. Hard drive usually has its own, these are for different hard drives. And then up here is where you'd put different, um, you know, if you wanted different DVD drives or uh, different types of floppy drives, whatever, you know, you wanted to put in there. Uh, but again, that's the motherboard down inside the motherboard and it's got a lot of connectors on it. Those connectors I was showing you on the back, see they're straight off 
of the motherboard. And you'll see in some of the pictures uh, that I have given and put on Teams and some of the pictures that of different things. And I'll try to add some more pictures. I just wanted to at least let you experience what it would be like. Most of the time, by the time people open this up and I start pointing things and they start identifying things and we talk about it, then it's easy to remember all those things. But for you not being here, it's a little more complicated. So I thought I'd at least put together some type or some form of a video because the students in class will be able to get all this RAM out, take the heat sink out, they'll get to the CPU. Uh, and you know, and it helps you remember it. The more things you are touching and you know, kinesthetic learning, you're doing some of that by doing. Uh, but anyway, that's basically the inside of the computer. You have the components, you need to study the components, study the vocabulary. Our first test will be even identifying some of those. And of course, I'll go over them in class uh, with the students that are here, but you're not going to be able to review with me those things. So you'll have to do your own study at home before that first test. So uh, I hope this will help a little bit.